<laughs> hey there. Comic books are so cool. Have you ever read a comic book before or seen a superhero movie based on a comic book? There's so many great things in here. What our next assignment is gonna be is we are going to create a sketch as if we are a real comic book artist or a graphic designer. And we're gonna send that in to a publishing company to be approved to be a comic. So let me show you some of the things that we're gonna need in our comic book cover sketch today. Okay. Hi there. So graphic designers, what we're going to do today is we are going to come up with an idea for a comic book cover. So we need to think of several things. First of all, we need to think of a superhero. And I know there's a lot of great superheroes already out there, but it is very important that you come up with your own superhero. So I don't want to see any Spider-Man or Batman or Flash or Powerpuff Girls. I know all of them. So make sure that you choose something that is original, that is your own idea. And if you can't think of anything original, you can turn yourself into a superhero, which is what I think I'm going to do today. But we're going to need to first think of our idea. What is our superhero going to be? Is it going to be a pickle? Is it going to be a person? Is it going to be a young girl? What is our superhero going to look like? I'm going to make my superhero about an art teacher because I'm the art teacher, of course, and that just seems to work for me. But I want you to make your superhero something unique to you. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to think of a title and the title is going to be the name of your superhero. So up at the top up here, I'm gonna write my title and I'm trying to think of a good superhero name, maybe, maybe just super art teacher. How about that? I'm gonna write super art teacher and I can write it in like really cool letters if I've got a really good idea, but I don't really have a good idea yet. So I'm just gonna write them in normal letters, but I'm gonna write super, how about super art woman? I like that better, super art woman, okay? So that's gonna be my title. That's the name of my superhero. And then I'm gonna write my name and I'm gonna write illustrated, cause I'm the illustrator or the person drawing the pictures, illustrated by, and then I'm gonna write my name, my first and last name. My first name is Amanda and my last name is Sale. So illustrated by Amanda Sale. Then I'm gonna draw a picture of my superhero. And this is just a sketch, so I'm okay with it today if you just draw stick people, if you just have a basic idea that you wanna get down. But there's a few things that I need from your drawing of your superhero today. First, I want you to think of what your superhero is gonna look like. Then I want you to think of all the cool superhero stuff that your superhero is gonna be doing. Are they saving somebody? Are they flying? Are they fighting bad guys? What is the super thing that they're doing in their picture? And then you're also gonna to need to think of the environment. Where are they doing it? They're not floating in outer space, or maybe they are, but if they're in outer space, you need to show me in outer space. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw your superhero and a little bit about what they're doing. So I'm just gonna draw a stick person for this, but I'm gonna make it my superhero art teacher. And we'll say, you know how superheroes have like a shield? Actually, this is not a stick person. It's a little better than a stick person, but we'll make her like flying in the air, okay? Whew, she's flying. And maybe she has a cape, a superhero cape. And maybe later I could put some cool art stuff on there. And maybe she has one of those paint palettes. You know what a paint palette is where we keep all the paint? Maybe this will be kind of like her shield, okay? And maybe she has like a sword, but her sword is a sword of paint. Okay, so I've got a big magic paintbrush. Okay, and my hair. All right, so now I'm a superhero. And what am I doing? Well, maybe, maybe I'm using my magic paint to stop a bad guy. Who would be bad to the art lady? Well, I don't know, I like and love everybody, but maybe let's say that an empty sheet of paper is my, my evil villain, okay? So here's my empty sheet of paper and he's my bad guy over here. Maybe he's just a stick man right now. So I'm fighting the empty sheet of paper and maybe I'm above a small city, okay? 
So here's my city down below and I'm up in the sky, in the clouds, okay? So I've kind of got down my idea. And then I need a few other things. And these things we're gonna put a box around. I need a date or an edition. If you've ever watched Netflix, sorry, before, and you had a TV show that you're watching and every time you go back in and you watch a new episode, that's kind of what happens with our comic books. It's kind of like a new episode comes out every month and we call this an edition or a volume. So whenever you go to buy a comic, a lot of times you're going to see somewhere on there where it says volume one or volume two and it tells us the edition or it could be a date. It could just say October 2020 or whatever it is. So here I'm going to put volume one because this is the first one that I've ever made and maybe I might even put a date too. This is September 2020. Okay, so that's my date and my edition number or my volume number. Then we need a price. How much is this gonna be worth? Is it gonna be worth 10 cents? Is it gonna be worth a million dollars? You need to decide a price. So here I'm gonna put a little box and let's say I'm gonna make it for $2.99. I think that's a good price, okay? And then the last part is a logo. A logo is the publishing company that publishes comics. And some um, logos that you might have actually heard of before, Marvel Comics, another one is DC Comics. I don't know if I have one of those right now. I just have a marble. But these are famous comic book publishers. You can use one of these if you wanna draw a Marvel or you wanna draw a DC, that's okay. But I'm gonna actually make up my own publishing company. So I'm gonna put a little, a little, shape over here, squiggly shape. And inside of it, I'm going to put MW and this will be for Martin Warren Comics. Okay. Oop, I ran out of space. I guess I'll write it to the side. This is just a sketch, so that's okay. All right. If there's anything on here that you do not want to draw out, but you want to add to remember later, like here on my cape, I'm going to put off to the side. I want to make art supplies on my cape to make me look like a superhero and maybe you can't really tell this is a cloud I'm gonna write here cloud if you want to write a few notes on here this is a sketch and a sketch doesn't have to be your best work it's just to get down an idea and we're gonna use this sketch to create our actual comic book cover that we're gonna start next time but this is what I need from you today we need a title and that will be the name of your superhero we need a drawing of a superhero doing superhero stuff in a superhero place so it needs a background you need a date or an edition. Remember, that's going to be like volume one, volume two, or the date. It could be today's date, or you could make up a date if you want it to be your birth date, or whatever you can think of is fine. And then the price. The price is how much it's going to cost. How much is this worth? And then the last thing is the logo, like DC Comics or Marvel Comics. Make sure to get all of these things. If you want to look at this, you can take a look at this, or you can write it down on your own sheet of paper so you don't forget all of those steps. But you need all of these things in your sketch when you're done today you're going to take a picture of it and you're well actually you're going to take a video of it I'm sorry you're going to take a video of it and you're going to quickly tell me all of the things that you've included in your sketch and then you're going to send it in to the publishing company which is me we're just pretending and I'm going to take a look at it and we'll see if we'll turn it into a comic good luck my graphic designers Bye bye